Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are grabbing it all in Mr Pumpkin 2 Kowloon Walled City. Now this was developed by Cotton Game, published by eHome Entertainment and is usually available for just £4.99 but is on sale this week for just £3.99 plus check out any future future sales. So we played once again as Mr Pumpkin, a normal guy with a pumpkin head. Don't ask me how, but that's how it is. And El Pumko this time is traversing the Hong Kong walled city, checking out the stories, what's happening between the walls, and having to solve puzzles and mysteries in order to continue. Now as for achievements and trophies, the majority are very simple, solve certain puzzles, complete various story bits. The only one that may give you even the remotely slightest bit of trouble is for finishing the arcade game Neon Blocks in under 2 minutes, but trust me, it is very easy, so do nay panic. Otherwise, it's a straightforward and fun 1000 out of 1000 slash platinum. Overall, you're looking at around an hour to get this done. So, with that being said then, let us begin. And if you did end up playing the first game, well, this game is pretty much no different. It's all good, it's all fun, and it shall be enjoyable. So, you can skip cutscenes by pressing the Y button. So, we're just going to be doing that through the game. And a few button prompts then, you can press the left trigger to run, sprint, which we'll be doing for most of the game. The right trigger to open up your suitcase, which apparently Mr. Pumpkin has a hell of a set of pumpkin arms on him, because we are going to be carrying quite a lot through this <laughs> through this game. So he is on them steroids just for this uh, Hong Kong game, so yeah, we'll give him that, we'll give him that. So obviously left stick to move. So, left trigger to run again, as I said. So, we're going to run all the way to the end. We're going to pick up a box of matches that are on the floor by pressing the A button, which we're going to use. And then, pr then uh, open up your inventory using the right trigger. And then, uh, press the A button to give it to the homeless Mario right here. Press A to talk to him a couple of times again. And what he's going to do is give us a key. Uh, a wooden key. And, no, it's not the key what you think it is. So again, press the right trigger to use the key on the doors, and we can now move on and begin the first chapter. West side is the best. So immediately go down the stairs there, and then into the right set of stairs, past the mousetrap. And then we're going to grab the cheese, which is just on the floor in front of us. So make sure to pick that one up, then go back down the same left set of stairs that we came down. Oi! Watch that ball, you little bar stool. Right, put the cheese on the mousetrap again. Opening your inventory, pressing the A button on it by the mouse, move away so the mouse will grab it, and he drops this like triangle thing. Man, that kid is a douchebag. Right, when this guy goes away from the green door, we're gonna head in. And I thought he was um, in a wheelchair first, but apparently not. So just below him then is a drawer we can pick up. So open up the drawer, pick up the fuse out of the drawer, and then move out. For some reason, people are okay with us robbing them. I don't know why, but there we go. So go back into the right side door, the right hand side uh, stairs, all the way to the right hand side. Now the order you've got to do this in is you click the third one, and then fourth one, and then first one, second one, and then the fifth one. And that is the order, it should be exactly the same for you, in order to get in to this room. Right, have a look by the TV, we've got some electrical tape to pick up. Again, please don't mind me people, we're just robbing your stuff, okay? Go out to the right hand side here, and now we can open up our inventory, put the triangle key in it, and have a look. All you've got to do here is go into your inventory, um, click the fuse, pop that in, and then just turn all three switches on. And that is, well, that, that gets us the achievement, and apparently we're one of the gr world's greatest electricians, so give me money. Right, anyway, once this blows away, just by the settee, we're going to get a set of pliers for us to pick up, so make sure to rob them as well. Again, don't mind us, just a weird guy with a pumpkin head robbing people. Okay, up by the door then, we are going to do this puzzle. Now just go ahead and skip to 4 minutes and 40 to see the finished product if you'd rather that one. Okie dokie then, with that one done, we're going to get our old um, pumpkin infused Mario head inside and we're going to pick up this wooden key again, so make sure to grab that. Uh, again, that'll come in handy for finishing the level actually. So out of here, go back down the left side of stairs and then we're going to go back up the stairs on the uh, right at the top of the screen there. And we've got <laughs> angry, angry man, weird. 
Hell of a nose on him too. So we're just going up the stairs behind him now. For this puzzle, it's easy. Um, move to the second ring. And then just click, click in the A button until it goes red, like so. Then the um, inner one, the sort of first one. Keep clicking it until it goes red. And then the outer ring. Just keep clicking that until it goes red. And that is as simple as finishing. Okay, not sure what's going on in here, but we'll just um, we'll ignore us, okay? So head to the right-hand side in this drawer, open it up and pick up the clock, or the stopwatch, and then have a look at the door. Um, you need to go into your inventory to wipe out your players, and then we can go in. I love the way that he gives a little thumbs up every time he does something as well. That's really funny. So when you're going up the stairs, looking at the postman man, what we need to do then is give him, talk to him a couple of times, and then give him the electrical tape. And for some reason, that holds a whole neon sign up, which is damn impressive. But anyway, that opens this up. And this is where we are going to get a few missable achievements. So talk to the chunky guy with the head bandage and give him the watch. Oh, I might. Yeah, thanks very much. Yeah. I've got a fish for a head for some reason. Or, yeah, whatever. But he drops this ticket, which we are going to pick up. Why are there so many angry gamers? And well, why do you look so angry? You all lose. You're all losers. Right, go over to the Neon Cube um, video game. Now again, just fast forward literally 20 seconds. All you got to do though is press each row. I start from the bottom to go up to the top and just do the exact same rows that I do. Okay, bountiful, bountiful. Right, and now we're actually going to play this Neon Cube game. Now, this is the one we have to do in less than two minutes. So, if you don't get the achievement, I think you should be able to just completely quit out, restart the game, and try again. But it's um, basically all you've got to do then is just put three of the same colour in a row. Literally any shape, uh, any shape, size, or form. It literally doesn't matter. But as soon as you see which colour's coming next, just put it on, even if it doesn't look like... Um, it's probably worth it. It probably is. So as soon as you see the one color stick it on the next color and just keep slamming it down like that But it is quite an easy one. I got it in less than two minutes So I sh think you should too because you're all better gamers than me Woo! See? No problems, am I right? Right, right. Pick up the ball that came out of that and then and then give the movie ball to the movie ball. The ball to the again angry owner. Why is everyone so angry in this game? Right, pick up the money anyway, and then what we're gonna do is go for another achievement, but this one is extremely easy. So at the bottom right hand corner we got this mouse. Uh the old grabber one. So just move it, go to the mouse, press the A button on the mouse, and it should be that. You've got to literally do it the first time. Um, so, I mean, surely you you cannot miss that. Move it with the left stick, press the A button on it. Surely that is um, as easy as hell. Again, if you do end up missing it, you should be able to just uh, quit home and restart. So with that, you should get the first try and the Rising Star achievement. So going outside, um, interacting with the antenna here on the left, now, the way to do this is, uh, if it's left to right, one, one to four, left to right, the first one put it in the middle, the third and fourth one put it in the middle, and then the second one there put it um, right at the top. So that is how you do that one. So, very easy, but now we've got some horse racing, now we can go and get some Coca-Cola. So pick that up from the fridge, right next to the seemingly chilled out owner. Happy postman now. So we've made everyone's lives a little better. Because that's apparently just what pumpkins do, even out of season. Right, so from here, what we're going to do is speak to the tattooist down here and give him the mouse doll. I know I'm a lifesaver, I'm a goddamn legend. Give the angry chunky boy his soda, and then he's going to fall asleep. He's going to crap his pants, fall asleep, and <laughs> then we're just going to laugh at him and take a picture and put it all over social media. No, don't do that, that's wrong. Right, pick up the gun anyway when he falls asleep, and move over to the left. And when we go down, we're going to give this angry wiener boy the um, money. 
So give him the money and then go back down the left set, set of stairs, down to the noodle area, go back into the green door. And then what we can do is we're gonna go to go ahead and give this guy the movie ticket. So he's gonna be super delighted. Oh, can't wait to go to the movies on my own. Right, pick up the ammo, which he was sitting on. Ugh, I see a little bit of brown on there. We'll probably just give them a wash before we uh, move on. Yeah, yeah, don't want to be uh, giving no one some poopy bullets. Especially this angry dude, which we're going to give. So, give him the pistol. The red angry man with the peanut-infused friend. And then give him the bullets as well. And he's going to go on a <laughs> shooting spree. Peanut Head's going to enjoy it. Angry Wiener Man's going to enjoy it, but the old lady is obviously very unhappy. She throws down the valve, so pick up the valve. And then we can go up the stairs where it says toilet. Now, this is one of the best achievements in the game. Pick up the red bucket first in front of us, and then just interact with this toilet stall four times, um, and just basically perv on Peanut Chin, trying to crap his absolute pants off. Hilarious, but there we go then. So that's the ADHD one. Sorry, I, ju I just want to compare pumpkin sizes. Right, so go behind these guys and then put the valve on. Then put the bucket underneath, of course. And then we can press the valve. That'll get us a nice big bucket of water, which is nice. So, well, I guess I'll see you around, Peanut Head. But we're going back down the left set of stairs. And we're going to speak to Noodle Guy, the old uh, Mario. It looked like if Mario had a disease or something. Uh, give him the bucket of water and he's going to whip us out. A nice fresh batch of noodle. Oh, look at the lady in the left hand corner. She likes noodle man. She likes the diseased Mario. Which don't we all. So anyway, pick up the noodles anyway when he's done. And you actually can't beat uh, some ramen noodles. Ah, uh, blemissimo. Right, go up to the right set of stairs. And all the way to the right again. Into the pregnant woman's house. You couldn't tell she was pregnant. But when we give her the noodles, like now... It turns out she is pregnant. Literally don't know why your husband couldn't have just done that as well. What a lazy douchebag. Well, he is in his wife beater's vest, so probably not. Anyway, speak to the wife beater vest man. He's going to give us another item, so make sure to grab that before we leave. And then we can just head back down the left set of stairs. What an adventure for the old pumpkin boy already. So going back up these stairs at the top there, and then go up the stairs behind Wienerman and Peanut Head. There we go, and then just go through here, go up through the door, and then up this, these set of steps again. In fact, no, we're not going up the set of steps. We're going to put the lever in um, the broken lever part. And then what you need to do to get in here, as you can see on the card there, it says what kind of symbol, what kind of wood key we need to use, and it is the wood key. So interact that with it. That's going to open up the cart. That is going to finish this first chapter out of four. West side is the best. And here we are then. Now we are at East Side is the best. East Side is the best. So argue amongst two, whichever you want. But we're going up the stairs to the right first anyway. Um, to the bottom right, left hand corner there, we can get a paintbrush and then go back down the stairs. And then we, we don't need to interact with the ladder. We actually need to grab the item in the left hand corner. Tucked away is the step ladder step. So pick that up, put in your inventory, and then put that one on, so then we can finally climb up. Go down the stairs. Pig. A lot of pigs in this place. And now we are at KFC Center. Now what we've got to do for an achievement is scare these chicks a hundred times. I've eaten all your siblings! 
So, yeah, so scare them like that. So sort of run into them. If you want as well, you can just run into the building and run back out sort of to refresh where the KFC birds are. And then just keep going. So this takes around a minute and a half to two minutes. But just keep running around. Go back in and out of the building. Keep telling them that the colonel is coming and he's going to kill all your beloved ones just so fat people like me can eat them. So, yep. If you, if you don't want to be made into KFC chicken burgers... You will let me get the achievement off you. Thanks. And here we go then. So now we should have scared them enough times that we're going to leave these ones alone. They're not going to be made into our KFC chicken. So, all right, we'll let you live for now. Right, anyway, pick up the sort of hook that is hanging off the sign. And there's like a set of pliers or whatever that is. So make sure to pick up those two items before going in the building. And then picking up the rope to the right-hand side just underneath the stairs. Angry Baker again. So we'll come back to Angry Baker. Why is everyone so angry in the walled city? Jesus. Anyway, head down. And now we're going to give the painter a paintbrush. Now we're going to do a little puzzle. And I will just tell you exactly what to use. So the first one. So the first one is going to be red. Which we've already put up. And then choose yellow. So red and yellow for the first one. So that this is going to do that automatically. Then we're going to choose red. There we go. So choose the red paint. And then white. Which is on the left hand, uh, top left hand corner. So red and white. Delicious. Which makes that colour. Not very good with colours, so I'm not even going to try to explain it. Next, go red again. And then blue, which is on the top right-hand corner, hidden behind the old uh, trowel ting right there. So red and blue. And that gives off purple, I believe. Um, right, next, blue. And then yellow. So blue and yellow, which is the sort of middle paint. That makes off a, uh, that looks, looks kind of greeny to me. Next, we're going to choose yellow again, which is again the middle one of the left-hand side. And then white, which is the top left-hand corner again. So yellow and white. That gives off that colour. And finally, we're going to go white, which is again top left-hand corner. And then blue, which is the top right-hand corner. So there, so there we go. That is how you easily, easily apparently, that's a new word. I didn't know that, I'll just I'll take that one. But he finally gets out of the way. We could have just stepped over his paint cans anyway and moved on, but, you know, we like we like to help. We're a pumpkin, it's what we do. So we're just going to ignore this bit for now. Go to the right-hand side. So this is another easy puzzle. You basically go in sort of 2 plus 2 equals 4. So go to the fourth one there, where it says 2 plus 2, and then 3 plus 3, so the final 2 on the right-hand side. Then the bottom right-hand side one, where it says 4. There we go, with that one, and then three, that makes seven, and then just two plus one, and that makes three. So, that opens that door up. A lot of people need a lot of privacy, apparently, coming up with all these weird locks, but there we go. Right, give the rope to this guy, old sweaty McFungus, right here. And now give him the iron wire as well. And apparently that's not good enough. Well, screw you, buddy. Have a look in the box, and then all you got to do then is just... Um, interact with these um, dials. So the top two, we're going to put it the dial straight down. The bottom left one, we are going to put it so it's sort of top right hand corner at the number two, and then the lot, and then the bottom right one was um, pointing top left. That opens that up, and we get a lever again. Again, a lot of lot of weird things being locked up for some reason. Anyway, left and left again, and then left up the stairs again. Why are people so paranoid in Hong Kong? Hello KFC birds, I'll come back for you later, but we're going right for now. Bit of an argumentative couple, but we are going to be doing another puzzle. Um, so all you've got to do is just, it's a very easy puzzle, but if you just want to have a look at the finished product, go to 
21 minutes dead on. What a sad, poignant photo that turns out to be. So, press B to exit, and then we can just move up the stairs. Aha, uh -huh, your missus don't like you no more. <laughs> well, anyway, grab the hair out of the bin bag, which is, of course, that's what you'd always do when you find hair in a bin bag. Uh, go ahead and give the um, postcard to the weirdly headed shaped man with the bald head and the weird hair. Speak to him a couple of times as well, and he's going to give us the scissors anyway. Right. Off goes the woman, job done, we're going to pick up the lighter, which was by her, again we could have just picked that one up to the side of her, but there we go. Um, go to the bottom here, interact with this box and just put the lever in it, and then just interact with that a whole bunch of times. And there we go, and we can just move on back to the left hand side. Right, go back down the old apple and pears, wooden pears. Ah, I forget which scene it is. And keep going all the way down, back into KFC Central. The Colonel's coming. <laughs> yes, I am. Because that, that's apparently what the Colonel sounds like. Greedy git. Right, anyway, back up to the starting area. Up to the old pork lab right here. Again, ignore the old uh, rabies dog. So interact with this sort of cabinet thing. Now, for this puzzle, all you got to do with the, with the left one, interact with it twice. The middle one, interact with it once. And the right one interact with it five times. And that should get that puzzle done. That'll get us the one rubber glove. Hee <laughs> hee! Where and where that's going. Right, before talking to fat guy over there, just keep interacting with any piece of meat uh, 20 times. That's going to get us the meat lover achievement. So this is why everyone in Wall City's dying, because the meat smells like rotten ass. Delicious. So, <laughs> you uh, grab the scissors and then put off this disgusting bit of meat. Um, old onion head is going to be like, yeah, just take it, just take it. So the pork that fell on the floor, grab that, and there's only one thing in the whole of this land that is going to eat that, and that is that doggo. He's going to give us this lever, or this big bong drung thing, and then we could just move downstairs. So again, just make sure you've got that meat lever achievement there before moving on. That's the last missable achievement, by the way, of the game. The rest are for finishing stuff now. So, interact with the bottles on the back wall in KFC Square. And if we get out our mallet, this is another achievement we need to be doing. So, put the mallet, right, so, you've got to do it in this order. So, interact with the fourth bottle, and then the first bottle, then the fourth bottle, then the second bottle, third bottle, fourth bottle, fifth bottle, and then fourth bottle. And that will get us the gas performer, Am's achievement, the musician. So, here's a pigeon, so we're just going to look at this pigeon... Get him to fly away. Go on, you diseased little rat. But uh, I'll see you in my chicken land. Right, he's going to drop this bus ticket, so make sure to pick that one up. And then we can interact with the fuse. This time we need to put on our anal glove. It's a, sorry, just regular glove. Um, and then interact with the switch. And that'll get us this achievement as well, the work hard achievement. And now... We can interact with the old baker, fuming. Interact with him a couple of times. He needs a order form of some form of some sort to fill out. All right, now he's going to do work. Happy days. Right, so he gives us that. Interact with the washing machine and then put the lighter in there. I say it's a washing machine. It's a log burner, but you know it's, it's close enough. So wait, wait, keep on wait. Try not to get too close. You are a pumpkin. You will die after all. Uh, you cannot actually grab them because your orange-infused ginger hands will fall them off. So. Pick up, use the fire tongs, 
And now we're able to pick up the water key. It's all fun and games, until someone's pumpkin head falls off. Right, go down the right hand side, set of stairs, all the way through into Eldoro. Again, why does that performer look so sad? There's no one there, so go take a break man. Get a beer down here or two. Right, interact with this guy, put the hair with him. You have to be quite close to these people. You don't want to get close to old sweaty McFungus armpits, but there we go. So he gives us, um, we give him the hair, he's going to start his weird contraption by hitting it apparently so uh, you know life lesson if something doesn't work just give it a punch and then it'll work not for everything though so if you know if your partner or something doesn't work just don't punch him or her to no don't do that right anyway um be a bit more understanding yeah so beard prop give it to this performer and then he will be extremely delighted with that and then what he's going to do is give us a couple of tickets which is going to come in handy. So go to the left hand side. And then back up the old stairs. Man nobody told me there's going to be this much walking and talking in here. Jesus Christ. Right go into the right hand side. And now we are going to get. We're going to get this guy. We're going to luck this guy out. So give him the theatre tickets. I'm sorry I kissed that guy's nutsack. I was just curious. Just wanted to see what it tasted like. Sorry, sorry. But here's some theater tickets. Please make it up. But we're all good now. So, I, I've brushed my teeth and everything. I don't have that uh, cheesy ball on my face anymore. I'm good. I'm good. So, we've got that achievement. He gives us a key so we can go back down the left-hand side. And that, that's it, guys. If you don't want your missus to hate you, don't kiss another guy's nutsack. Unless that's really what you're into, then you do you. But anyway, we are going up. All the way up the stairs, to the right hand side up the stairs, back into Porco Maloco at land. Through the door again. And then what we're going to do is give the order sheet, or the purchase order form, to old Onion Head right here. Angry Onion Head. He's going to sort us out. Or maybe he looks like Daddy Pig if he, uh, you know, lost all his family in that. So anyway, there's a key which you're going to use with this door behind him, which he was blocking before. That gets us down, and that basically ends the level for us. So what we need to do now is just use the water key with this, and then we are on our merry chickeny way. Oh, you also need to give the bus ticket to the guy, but you have to be in the particular spot. So get to the get really into the right hand side of the area. Otherwise, for some reason, dude, it's you. Just take, take my damn ticket, you goddamn butthole. All right, he's taking it out. Only after four attempts, then. It's because I'm a pumpkin, isn't it? Racist. And here we are then, that north side is the best. Now nah, it's not as good as west and east side. But anyway, we are here now at chapter 3. So going through the right hand door, we're going to go into the hair salon first. The only open door. Ooh, well, you two are very pretty. Top, uh, bottom right hand corner, pick up the pencil from the drawer. God damn, that's a big table. And then go out of the door. Right, go into the top door with our sleeping granny. Don't mind us, granny, we're just going to rob you. So pick up the bamboo rod next to the TV and then the sheet, which is just... Are you still alive? Are you sleeping or have your sort of brain just sort of stroked off for a second? We'll come back to granny anyway. So uh, go back down the stairs, down the left-hand side stairs. Why do people in the wall city have big heads? I don't know, but going into the left-hand side door. We're just going to rob this guy as well, so grab the tape. And a set of glasses from the left-hand side. Yeah, I hear someone. I can't. I can't see him. Ah, damn it! Right, we are going to up these stairs again to so the right-hand side. Go up the stairs once more, all the way to the right into the next building, into this sort of dumpling shop right here. Dude looks like he could do with a little bit more uh, food, but we're gonna give the woman the waterproof tape. Man, you can't feed your kid dumplings forever. He's, his head literally looks like a dumpling. Anyway, talk to the woman. She's going to give us the plate of dumplings, which is very nice, actually. Obviously, because your kid ain't eating it. Make sure to pick up the ginger uh, from the right-hand side as well. So make sure to grab that ginger before moving on. 
and then going back down the left hand side set of steps and from here we're going down the next set of steps as well here's the homeless guy you look very you look better than half of these people here actually but give him the dumplings anyway and for some reason he's got a random book on him uh, he's kind of like the big issue guy if you're in Britain you know exactly what the big issue guy is but anyway gives us the book so we're going all the way back up the stairs through um, and then into the orange shop now from here what we can do is give this guy the prescription which of course we need for the granny who's sort of um, I don't know if she seems strokey or something give him the ginger as well which of course we got from the dumpling shop and uh, just hang, hang a banger hang a bit of fire for a sec have a little run around if you want. Uh, do you sweat like pumpkin seeds? I, I wonder. If he sweats, do like pumpkin seeds come out of his armpits and that? I don't know. Anyway, once that one is done, that gives us these sort of sleeping pills. Now, we're going to interact with this guy. Um, give him the... Um, the um, sunflower manual. Sorry, that's what we were after there. So, give this guy the sunflower manual. And what he's going to do is give us a... Another book in exchange. There we go. So that'll automatically get into your inventorians. So go back and go into the right hand side shop. And then give that same book to the old um, dumpling headed little boy. And that's going to get us the end of the dojo achievement. So happy days. He's gone. And then pick up the work form that he's left. Make sure to pick that one up. So the work form that he left. And then we can go back up the left side of steps. And up back into the granny's house. So, I hope you're okay, granny. We'll we'll sort you out. We'll sort you out. So, what you need to do then is put the sedatives into the kettle. You're going to have to wait a second while you interact with it. And just as it pours. But, yeah, I'm not kind of... I didn't know if you could speak to it. I thought she was just like um, being a bit of a donkey. And just sort of um, window licking, dribbling her way through life there. But apparently, she just needs help sleeping. So... Let a random pumpkin into your house and, uh, you know, let him help. So if you ever need, again, if you ever need help sleeping, just get a pumpkin in your house and he'll sort you out lovely. So interact with the kettle, interact with the bowl of soup or coffee or whatever that disgusting mess is supposed to be. Oh, so it's just sleep medicine. There you go, grand dogs. Get that down your neck, buddy boy. D Rishimo. There we go. So, much needed rest. So, her brain didn't stroke off for a second. She was just a bit knackered. Right, happy days. Now we can go and rob her anyway when she's asleep. So, go up the stairs. Interact with the book. And now we can use the pencil on this book. So, you weren't doing it to be nice. You just wanted to rob the old lady. That's an arrestable offence in, in, in Britain. A shootable offence in the US, apparently, as well. Sorry, just joking. Anyway, this should be the same every time. So, 1993. Uh, oh, boy. I was just joking though, honestly. So 1993, and then pick up the bus ticket, or the boat ticket, or the train ticket. It's a ticket anyway, which we're picking up. Pressing B to exit, and then going back down the stairs, and then going back out. And from here, we can go to the left-hand side, going back into the hair salon. And then what you're going to do is give the boat ticket, as it was, to the lady who is now forgetting her ex. But I can't tell if that's her ex, and she's just being all I'm not sure what's going on but anyway we need to wait for a second before we talk to her and then she's going to give us another item of it she gives us a police badge ah I see what's going on potato head there she smashed a police officer okay right go to the left hand side go down to the right here and then what we're going to do is give the boy a little bamboo pole there it is. Give him the old bamboo pole, and he's going to whack the plane down, crap the bird off, and that's going to get us the earth wooden key as well. So, flying through. We've only got about 15 minutes of the game left. So, back into the old her salon. So, she's forgetting about her ex, but she's still staying there. Okay, then, potato nose. Right, go down the steps, and back down the left side of steps. And then what we're going to do this time is go into the... Uh, we're going to speak to the old guy, actually. So speak to him. Give him the volunteer's pass. Eh, yeah, yeah, new wish, Jenny. Okay, so we're into the old folks' home. Now, interact with the clock. Um, just put the gear down. Press the A button. Doesn't matter where. But we're just going to pick up the broken gear. Uh, there's only one there, so make sure to pick that up. Go out to the left and then go into the left-hand side door as well. And then what we're going to do, now we robbed the old guy's glasses, now we're going to pretend to be the hero and give him his glasses again. She was like, oh, that's where they are. You had them, you pumpkin. <laughs> what the hell? What, what, why are you the hell are you a pumpkin? 
Right, so give the guy the gear. And then what you need to do is actually give him the piece of metal or the police badge or whatever. So give him the metal badge. And then in the meantime, we're going to do another puzzle in the top right-hand corner. So go to the top right-hand corner and interact with it. Now what you need to do is press the left button once and then the right button until the green light goes all the way um, until the sort of end. So again, press the left button once, right button all the way until it gets to the end, left button once, right button all the way, and then you've got to do that until the whole circle is just filled with green lights. So it's an easy one, easy concept, but it shouldn't take too long. So again, press the left button once to get at the green light, and then the uh, right button to put it down into the next one. Next one, there we go. So happy days, right? So we've done that, and Old Beardy McSanta face right there has got us the fixed gear, so let's go ahead and sort out the old folks, is it? So go up to the next door and interact with the clock again. Now, you just have to put these gears in a certain amount of places. So this first one, put it in the left-hand side one. Put the gear wheel out. Now the sort of middle, the small one at the bottom there, put that one at the top left so that get that working. Grab the big one from the right-hand side and put that at the bottom. And then the only one that's not working, put it on the right. And that is the uh, Craftsman Spirits Achievement done. Now what we need to do is actually put the time to around 3.55. And again, it's easy to do. So when we interact with the clock once again. Come on, shady looking pumpkin boy. There we go. So what we need to do then is on the right hand side, the red one, put that one down to 3. And then with the left hand side one, just put it all the way up until it gets to 50, until it gets to 11 there. So it's 3.55. And the lady's like, hey, I'm getting later. I guess I'll suck you guys off later. Uh, but she actually gets out of the way of the screen, which we can now put the Earth key in. And that is the end. That's the end of that chapter. Max Power. He's the man whose name you'd love to touch. But you mustn't touch. His name sounds good in your ear. But when you say it, you mustn't fear. Because his name can be said. By anyone. See, everyone who knows The Simpsons will know that song. I'm not just singing to try and seduce you all. It's, uh, it's, it's a pretty good song there by Homie Simpson. And again, for anyone who's seen that episode where he says, that's the end of that chapter, that's why I started singing that. So I'm not just randomly coming out with crap. Not as much as usual, anyway. <laughs> Okay, here we go then. So, south side is the best. Nah, it doesn't... Nah, north and south is not as good as uh, west and east. So, we are on to the final chapter anyway. The last 12 minutes of the game. So, go through to the right-hand side. And, hello, Mr. Dentist. You... Did, I tell you, I'd be sweating as well if I was in that guy's position. But we're just going to go to the right in through the open door. And then what we're doing, have a look at this electrical box. Now, just follow along exactly as I do here. Or again, skip it to 20, 30 seconds. But you've got to press the A button and put it on... You've got to uh, choose a, sp a specific, the particular path. So put the minus down to the bottom plus. Then that bottom plus over to the uh, minus, just above it. And then the minus down to the plus below it. Then to the minus to the right of it. Then to the plus above it. Then to the minus above that, to the minus down to the plus there, just below it to the left hand corner, and then up to the minus again. And that is how you turn on the dentist circuit box. So simple, man, we are just full of, uh, we're just full of talent really, aren't we? So pick up the flashlight, which was by the doctor, or the dentist, sorry. So make sure to grab that off the stool, and then we can go out to the right door, and then we're going to the left, uh, down to the right stairs, down the stairs. Right on the right, pick up the mirror. <laughs> right on the right, on the right, right, right. Go towards the left-hand door into the old 103. And then we've got Dying Girl, apparently. But um, pick up the stick. And then we need to go in and open the drawer, pick up the music sheet as well. So we'll, we'll save your life now. Yeah, You must be cold as well. Where's your blanket, bro? So go all the way to the right, outside of the door. And we've got a, <laughs> a little crying girl, which is always hilarious to see sometimes. 
Nah, I'm just joking, that's cruel. Anyway, down the stairs, we're going to give the music sheet, well, the sheet music, to the old um, violinist. So that's going to get us the achievement, magnum opus. What it's also going to do is we're going to steal his coin off him because we are a bastard. So, so st steal the only coin he had, his only source of food, and then go into this building right here. Go down into the sort of bubblegum machine, and then put the coin in. Lovely, that's going to get us a lollipop. How we got us a lollipop from a um, bubblegum ball machine, I don't know, but there we go. Over to the right-hand side. Again, this is just another puzzle. It's very, very easy. All you've got to do is just put where it says one or two. You've got to put one item there, two items there, etc. But again, just fast forward about 20 seconds just to see the end product. Man, what a lazy douchebag. So he's happy that we've just done that for him and he actually gives us a can of pineapples as a reward. So I prefer the money, but I'll take the... I'll, I'll take your damn pineapples. Or oh, wiener nose. So out of there then. Now we can go back up the steps. Mate, you ain't gonna get much money busking where there's no people. Trust me. Right, go to the crying little girl. Give her the lollipop. Make her day as a pumpkin. Again, surprised that no one's gone, holy crap, you're a pumpkin. What the hell's going on? How can you breathe? So, she gives us something in return, which is exactly what we need, the key. So, go ahead, go left and then up these set of steps right here. And then to the left-hand side door. So, we're going back into the dentist's office, basically. So, now what we're going to do is use that key that little girl gave us. Why is a little girl got the dentist key? I don't know. But, um... Come on, buddy. Don't be don't, don't be a dong. There we go. So pick up the magnet that we've just opened the dentist cabinet with as well. Again, magnet and a set of teeth. I don't know what's going on there. Nice back, <laughs> nice back street dentists. Right, go all the way to the right again, down the steps, and we go out to the right hand side door again, and we're going down the set of steps. And then just in the right-hand corner, there is another set of steps that we can go down to the sort of temple. The Temple of Life. Right, so, a few things we're going to do first. We're going to put our incense stick into the incense burner type thing right here. Delicious. Smells beautiful. Pick up the um, sheet that appears uh, after we do that. Right, so that basically tells us what we need to do. So, speak to the guy. And he's going to give us the um, elixir. Now give him the magnet. And then what he's going to do, flap that on. And then he's going to give us a big old dragon's head as well. So fly in. We're flying through it now. So there we go. Pick up the dragon head. Job done. You must be who I've been waiting for. Uh, no, no. That's, that's a hooker's website. I'm not on there. Trust me, you'd know if I was on a hooker's website. Right. So anyway, back up the steps. Um... <laughs> Yeah, you don't see many pumpkins on um, any adult-themed websites, really, do you? Unless, unless you go really looking for it. All the way through the left-hand side door again. <laughs> sorry. So, I'm so sorry. Right, from here, interact with the plant, and we're going to use the elixir with the plant. And basically, we're going to, um, well, talk to her now. She's hungry. Well, I'm not surprised. So, give her the can of pineapples. Get, don't be... Don't be dongish, Miss. There we go. Ah, she's happy with that look. She gives us the dolly anyway, so... The one crumb of comfort that was hers just before she died, we've just stolen off her. So, well done, pumpkin head. Go up the stairs anyway, when we get out. <laughs> and then up the next set of steps <laughs> as well. Ah, oh, we are. Gotta be cruel to be kind in a pumpkin world. Let's go through to the left. We are now into a pawn shop. Not that kind of pawn. Before you all start thinking. You know, that, that p pound shop. Pound shop. Right, give the dolly to the um, pound master. And then he's going to give us this remote control uh, in return. Also, what we're going to do is give him a dragon's head. Uh, sadly, now with the real world, that would have that would have cost quite a pretty penny. But what he's going to do is give us a pile of bones instead. And apparently, we're okay with that. What kind of pound shop is this? It's It's, it's disgusting. But apparently it's what we need to finish the game. So we've got a couple of minutes left now. So get out of there since we've got those two items. Go to the left-hand side door 
into the old dentistries. And then just keep running all the way left until we get back outside. Uh, now we're basically back in the starting area, so what we're going to do is give the boy the remote control. And he drops the fire. Again, you're a pumpkin, so you could have just nutted in one and then just stole the stole the token. And But of course, don't go ahead, don't go around headbutting little boys. Highly advise against that, personally, but... Again, you do you. Depends where you're from. Might be a common occurrence. So all the way right and then all the way down the right set of stairs. <laughs> and then to the right again, since we got the wooden fire key off the boy. All the way down. And then all the way back down to the temple, the right hand side. There we go. Right, so we're basically coming up to the end of the game now, which is just lovely. So interact with this. Now, this um, puzzle may take just a couple of minutes. It certainly took me about three or four minutes, but if you just want to see the finished product, go ahead and skip to 47 minutes and 45 seconds. I did edit it down ever so slightly because it did literally take me about four to five minutes. But um, yeah, go to 47, 45, see the finished product, and then just have a look at literally all the little bits, and you should be fine. I start with the head first, and then the tail, then the feet, and then go with the body after. That's the best tip I can give for that one. Ding, 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 ding! We are done! So, into the final room of the game. There is another room that we're going to do, but for the purpose of finishing the achievement, this bit's a very easy one. So, go over to the right-hand side, trying not to get caught in absolutely nothing, apparently. So, we need to do, go into the inventory and put the flashlight in. And then go to the, to the bottom left, and then what we're going to do is put the mirror on. And then all you need to do with the middle one, just put all of the symbols, all of the wooden keys on, and the bones as well. And that is basically what is going to end the game. So pop everything down, job done. Well done, Mr. Mario Pumpkinhead, you are... something. Interact with the flashlight as well to get that started. And all of a sudden it goes... it just goes a bit nuts. So, uh... Yeah, I tell you what, I really, really enjoy these types of games, so I'm a bit sad that this particular game wasn't a bit longer, but there we go. It, it is what it is, it is but a scratch. Now the dragon's going to give us a lift home and is going to give us the last achievement. There is a little bit more gameplay, but as for achievements and trophies, that one is done. So, we'll just leave it here. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed the game, hope you enjoyed the guide as well. If you did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Um, don't forget to check me out on my socials as well, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and of course Patreon. And again, a big, huge, massive shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. And thank you so much to everyone who interacts with me on the daily rag. Anyway, everyone's a legend. I love you guys. But that is that then, guys and gals. So I shall see you in the next one. Ba 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 ba